Hey everyone, Say here again, doing a layer review for Miraglade or Myraglade's clan, Miraglade, I don't know. Um, I'm sorry if I said it wrong. Um, this person is a breeder of, now, this is what I have to ask. This name of this dragon has been told to me many different ways, and I'm still not exactly the proper way to say it. Some people say Kotal, some people say Quaddle. Um, some people say, someone said Kult, Kultul, like they said it weird. Um, I'm not sure, a couple of my friends say it differently. I would think that it would be like Kowadl, just because there's other words that have the same spelling, but Kotal is just so easy to say. Um, so please, if anyone knows, really, like if anyone's ever heard anything from like the makers of this game of how to pronounce it, if it's Kowadl, or if it's Kotal, or however... Um, please let me know, but this person breeds them, and um, from what they say on here, and they really like them, so let's see what they got. Oh, and they were not lying. This is Ice Grave, and his wings are awesome. What is that? So that's an amazing item this dragon has. Um, I'm not sure if I would really have it on this dragon per se, just because his body is so crystally, and the wings look more like feather, almost stone, um, and they're brown, so they kind of don't blend too well. But maybe if you added some more apparel onto him, um, it would make it go along a little bit better. Um, but I'm not, you know... Like, see, on this dragon, maybe, just because the color of his body mat would match with the wings, but his wings are really good as they are, so I don't, I don't know how to say that. I'll, I'll see what else you have here, and I'll see what I, what I think. Um, this dragon, I really do enjoy the colors. Um, I'm a very big natural color person, even though with crystal, nothing ever seems natural. Um, but stone soil, so, la, 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 la. stone soil, stone always goes really good together. I have a couple natural um, quaddles or codals that I breed myself. Um, normally they only need like two babies. But when they do, they're very beautiful and natural looking. Um, this is another one that I really do like the items they did put on this dragon, and I really enjoy the colors. Um, Piebald has always been one of my favorite. I finally got some dragons. Now I have a little bit too many that have this gene. Um, because I didn't have piebald for a long time, because I always thought it was gross. But if you put it on the right dragon, it's a very cute color. Especially when you have the right, not color gene, especially when you have the right colors to go with that gene. Um, like anyone who watches my videos does know, I love ripple and current. I will always love ripple and current. I find it very veiny, very natural looking. Um, on green dragons, it looks like, um, like veins uh, in like leaves. Uh, but on this dragon, I actually really enjoy it with tomato, crimson, and white because the colors go well together. It kind of reminds me of like a, a winged tiger without having tiger, which I hate that gene. So, you know, I really like this one. Um, and female ones are always really pretty. This is another one I really like. They did a good job with the apparel and the accent and the colors are on points. They obviously have a good eye for buying codals because this one is just one really, well, handsome, I guess. I call all dragons pretty. Very handsome dragon. Ooh. So is this one. Are these ones related? No, they shouldn't be. Well, if these two aren't related, um, these two would make a really good breeding pair. I think with the colors of each one... They could make some really good babies, and they're both the same dragon, so that helps with cooldown time. They'll both cool down at the same time. If they make good babies, then you can breed them again. I'm going to look back one more time. Yeah, you never know. Those can make some really good babies. This dragon, I also really like the color. Like I said, I like banana. There's certain times I like banana, certain times I don't. But banana and coral, uh, coral actually go really well together. I'm actually quite surprised and happy about that. 
they do have a lot of uh, coral babies. This is another one I actually really like. I think that the Caribbean and the emeralds all go really well together and the maze circuit actually blends it in together so it all incorporates into one dragon. Um, I actually really enjoy that. And this is another one, um, if he didn't have the gene on his uh, secondary, if it was maybe stripes or um, uh, eye spots, it might have been a little bit better. I just find the shininess to be a little bit distracting from his body. Um, even though he does have glimmer on the bottom, but for some reason on this one, the glimmer almost looks like um, underbelly. Maybe if I zoom in, see it's still not really as shiny as some of the other glimmers, even though I'm a huge fan of uh, Clown. But you know what? I think that if you bred this dragon, you might have a chance of getting some interesting babies because, you know, with Jade, Fire, Lemon, even though in my head those don't go good together, looking at this dragon, the coloring is really good. I mean, like I said, I mean, uh, it's my personal preference against the wings, but I mean, altogether, it's still a good dragon. This is another one where the, the colors, looking at them throws me off a little bit, but looking at the dragon doesn't. Um, this is one where I actually do like these colors and these jeans together. Um, I seem to now like crystal with circuits. Um, just because it makes it look, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm not sure how I like the tail. I will admit that just because nothing else on him really seems furry and then he has a furry tail, but maybe after more items are added, it'll all blend together. This one I actually really do like, um, with the crystal and then having gem bond and current on the wings, especially with the colors it has. I think everything blends really well together. Um, this guy would probably have some good looking babies if you get him with a good female that has good colors as well. Try to keep the wings dark like that maybe. This is one where when I first looked at this person's lair, I was like, huh, that's a pretty cool looking dragon. When I clicked on it, I was surprised to see speckle and freckle. Two things that I absolutely hate, but on this dragon, look absolutely stunning. Um, I don't know if it's the coral spring maybe that makes it so beautiful, but it all blends really well. It's like almost like a strawberry sherbet thing to me. Like it, it's very, it, even with the circuit on it, the circuit looks almost more tribal rather than circuitry. And I really enjoy that. So Christmas Rosie is beautiful. Um, that's probably my favorite codal in this, in this whole thing. Um, I also really enjoy clown. So any baby that has clown on it, I think both my babies that I have right now for sale, um, have clown. I think it's a very natural color and it's about this color. I think one of them actually does have chocolate or maybe it's soil. I don't know, but they're all brown colors. This is another one that I really like. Um, I like this, um, actually all three of these jeans I like on quaddles or codals. Um, underbelly is always a nice safe thing to have if the color is okay. Um, on this one, I think when it gets older, it'll actually be a pretty good looking dragon, especially with the leaf wings, because leaf is always good looking, especially on wings, because it makes it look like a like bush on their back. Um, I'm a big fan of Crackle, everyone knows that, and I actually think this is a really cute looking dragon. I can't wait till this dragon's older, so I can see it again. Um, I think that it'll be a good mating partner with someone. Um, Crackle does tend to take over though, so make sure you know that you go into the scry workshop and you see if you want Crackle or not, because Crackle can go good or bad. Um, ooh, both of these are pretty cool. Crystal, Current, and Gem Bonds. See, both these dragons right here are really cool. I think I like this one a little bit more because the fire blends in with the wings. Um, I always like dragons that have the gem bond on the wings because there's normally a really pretty pattern. The only thing I have a problem with gem bond on these dragons is there's a big clump on the chest all the time, and that always just threw me off. Um, I guess you could put an item to cover that, but this dragon's really pretty. I really, I really like the face and the eyes and how the color of the wing and the orangish, well it's fire, but it's orange, the orange over this yellow 
is contrast really well. And this one, these jeans always go good together. Um, these three jeans, just even these colors, obviously, because these colors all go really well together. Stonewash and blue will always go together. Stonewash and purple will pretty much always go together. Um, I've always had a problem. I always get stonewash on dragons that have no business having stonewash. It'll be like banana fire stonewash. And it'll be like some random jean that looks horrible. Um, I am always jealous of people who get stonewash and it looks good. Um, this is another one I really liked. Even with, like, it has iridescent and shimmer underbelly. Um, normally, like I said before, I'm not a huge fan of iridescent and shimmer. Though a lot of these people are proving me wrong um, and showing me some dragons that are absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Um, this one I also really like. The colors all fit very well. And I like this one because it makes the dragon look like it's skin. You can see like the muscle definition in the dragon. I'm not saying you can't see that on others, but you see it more when they have iridescent. Um, I'm not a huge fan of tiger, but I am a fan of leaf. This has two jeans that I really don't like. Um, I do like the colors, not a huge fan of the, the jeans. Um, please don't let that discourage you. Like I said, anything I say that sounds bad, I'm not meaning it to be bad. It's just my personal opinion. My opinion doesn't matter really. Um, I mean, it's just what I would do. Some, everyone's different. I mean, you can't listen to everything everyone else says. If I did that, then I'd be in a really bad position in my life. Um, this is another one I found interesting. I'm not a fan. If it didn't have tiger, if it had, even if it was like anything else <laughs> besides tiger, because all I can look at is the fact that the tiger, ooh, that tiger and then gem bond. And they're two separate things. They're separated so they're two totally opposite, not opposite, different. So like when you look at them, my eyes are trying to look at the gem bond and trying to look at the, the tiger at the same time. And it just messes me up. I love mirrors, so I can never say I hate a mirror. I love all mirrors. They could, this could be a completely random dragon. I would still like it. I always love spirals. Um, I will admit this spiral looks pretty decent with tiger. Spirals look really good with tiger, though. Because it doesn't have that weird look to it like when it's sidewards. All mirrors I absolutely love. Anything with leaf I love. Eye spots are one of my favorite traits. Not traits. Jeans. A lot of people don't like it for some reason. I don't see why not because it pretty much is like a butterfly moth wing. Um, I don't know why people wouldn't like them, but a lot of people don't. Anyway, um, since we're... At the end of the layer, I will now say that I really like these wings, um, them being jade. I wish that the aqua was on there somewhere. Um, but I wanted to point out that, ooh, goodness, these wings, something like this, um, would go, I would personally put on a dragon. You don't have to buy mine, of course. Um, on one of these kind of dragons. Um, this is what I mean by natural soil brown sand, brown soil sand. Um, right now they're both at 70k, um, but I mean they're a little pricey, but they're gorgeous when they're older. But I would put this on something like that rather than the red color because it's a good item. You want to be able to show it off better. I think that you could find something that would go better with this dragon because he's gorgeous and the wings take away from his coloring, and I, it makes me kind of sad that it takes away from that, especially since he has a black faucet. I think black would go really well with the red, but that's just, you know, that's just my opinion. You do what you want to do. Um, I do think you have this person and you, because I know you're going to watch this because it's about your lair. I think that there's a lot of potential here and that you have some really good breeding opportunities, especially if you're planning on breeding quaddles or codals. Um, that, you know, cause you can sell them for a pretty decent amount of treasure or gems if you get some good jeans going. I mean, I price mine at this just because I've seen people buy them for around that price. Um, sometimes you can find them in the auction house for less. Um, but I take a lot of pride in my codals. I, I specifically got their parents specifically for breeding. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I have to cut this now. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.